Unsuccessful auto recloser, where a fault is injected during the reclaim time. So state one is configured as a healthy state with a healthy current and voltage with balanced phase angle for one second. State two is a fault state where our phase fault is configured for 50 milliseconds. State three is the dead time for 1200 milliseconds. No current and voltage is available. State four is the breaker closing identification by the relay so small amount of current and voltage is applied for successful detection of breaker closer by the relay. The reclaim time is configured in state 5 where again our phase fault is injected for 100 milliseconds. So let me reset the relay and play the state. We can observe the auto reclose in progress. Then after the dead time we can see the close command and the lookout happening simultaneously. Now let us analyze the event record. Using Siemens Digsy software, the event record is downloaded. The spontaneous event list shows the sequence of auto recloser the function lookout state. Parameter number 00512 shows that the relay has the issued trip command in our phase. And parameter number 03741 shows that the relay has picked up in zone one R phase to earth. Further down, we can find parameter number 02844, which confirms auto recloser cycle is running. The auto recloser reclaim time is started at 1101 milliseconds as per parameter number 02861. At the same instance, relay issued close command at parameter number 00510. And reclaim time is turned off at 1129 milliseconds as highlighted. The difference between reclaim off and the on time provides the reclaim time configured in the relay as 28 milliseconds. And this time is less than our actual set reclaim time as 5 seconds. Within this reclaim period, another R phase to earth fault occurred in zone 1. And relay issued the trip command in 3 phase, which is shown in parameter number 03805. This resulted in auto recloser lookout.